The gravels and loams of Pakistan bake beneath the feet of millions. Soils given to erosion in the absence of forests make their newfound alluvial migrations. It is an arid, drone-stricken land, chopped back to reveal a dry dirt gum line bearing up the sharp concrete teeth of a multiplex progress. The rural urgency of not enough water turns without warning into dark clouds and downpours. Landscapes of river devoured shanties cut trees and poverty, suddenly swept up by the silted waters of climatic convulsions. A hydrological momentum unchained on the desperate, bringing a year of floods to the Philippines and scant rains and famine to the Horn of Africa. Even California's farmlands wither as communities brace for tomorrow's parching. But in the land of convenience, under the shadow of total information awareness, when the tidal surges bear down on toxifying coastlines, they break on the outstretched walls of closed shades, a rising tide driven to a temporary triviality by rows of climate-controlled interior spaces and the pixelated windows that peer into a surveilled, primetime oblivion. There is no future, only the now you set aside. Take your eyes away from those ridiculously posed plastic mass productions and television guides that mask this deep unknowing. Death cannot be stalled by some lengthy commercial break intrusion. The merciful songs for life's shortening dance have been handed to you. Grasp those pages. It is your time to walk out the door and see the unnatural storm for what it is. And know that this frightening terrain of wires, giving shape to an indefinite detention by mechanical nightmares, is but the temporary cloak that we wear. There is yet time for wildflowers and mountain streams. There is yet time to lend to those who flounder in America's global floodplain. Those who have not yet suspected your merciful fury. There is yet time for the kindness you draw forth out of wind-blown sands and discarded memories that emerge from the brutal remnants of this shattered carnival. They need to hear your sorrow and your rage, which dissolve all special effects and cut through whole languages of war zone justifications. Even in this tangle of constricting pipelines and the trespass of sky by the minions of robotic violence, under such stark illumination, it is through the constant refinements of your grace indicating the perseverance of an unremitting beauty that makes sacred our movements becoming certainty becoming the transcendent defiance to this earth-devouring abomination